Hey gamers, it's Senator89 and today I am using a bit of a different screen recorder. Um, as you can tell, I'm using Screencast-O-Matic. I'm really glad that I switched and it's a much better screen recorder and it just really helps a lot. And so today I'm going to be going through the Animal Jam update as usual. I am a day late, but I haven't looked at it yet. And let's get on with the video. I'd like to clarify one thing real quick. I actually had the flu for the past week, and that's why I haven't been recording or anything. But I am better, I am back, and now let's get on with the video. First page of the Jamal Journal, we have an amazing discovery. The rest of the stone blocks in the Temple of Ancients have broken away, revealing something incredible that the alphas are speechless. A statue of a saber-toothed tiger. These exist these ancient animals were rumored to have existed in Jamal years ages ago, long before anyone can remember. The discovery of the heartstone and the emergence of the statue can only mean one thing. Saber toothed tigers will soon be coming to Jamal. I think this is absolutely amazing, and I cannot wait until Animal Jam releases these animals. They look really, really cool, and I can't wait to become one. Next up is the Spring Cottage. All around Jamal, flowers are blooming, birds are chirping, and jammers are doing a bit of spring cleaning in honor of the return of the Spring Cottage. This beautiful den comes with a cozy cottage, a can't pronounce that word pond, with wonderful waterfa wa waterfalls. And its walls and floors feature fun flowers. Pick up your own spring cottage today. Now, I already have a spring cottage, but it is really cool. I 10 out of 10 recommend it. It is a little bit tricky to decorate since it's such a big den, but it's really fun, and I recorded there multiple times. I actually recorded one of my best music videos, my most popular music video there, my What About Us music video. And it was really fun. Now, next up in the Jama Journals is the April Fool's Party. Calling all jokers, the April Fool's Party is back in action, so grab your buddies who are in topsy-turvy fun. I honestly love the April Fool's Day party because it's just really fun to go to, and it's just really fun to have fun with your buddies, and the items are amazing. I love the clothing items so much. They're really fun and cool. So, yeah. And the spring flower frame. Create your most beautiful mass, beautiful springtime masterpieces and give them an extra floral furrit, flourish finish with this new frame. I cannot wait to check out this frame, but I'm not really big on masterpieces. I love collecting them and stuff, but I cannot draw to save my life, even though I'm in art class. I, I just can't. I'm just nope. <laughs> just nope. And next up we have the Spring Bundle. A new springtime bundle comes with an otter, a pet pony, a beach house, an exclusive armor set, and a never-before-seen den item set. There's amazing bundles available to anyone who purchases any membership from www.animaljam.com slash join during the month of April. With all this awesome stuff, there's never been a better time to become a member. Honestly, I think this is a really, really cool bundle set. It has like a spin-off of the um, Rainbow Armor, which is not in the Diamond Shop anymore. So it's like a pastel color. And then we have a little unicorn, which is absolutely adorable. And Peck, which I'm guessing this is one of the den items, which is so cute. And here we have the Spring Festival. Spring is in full bloom, which means it's time for the Spring Festival of the Fun Adventure. A hundred hidden spring eggs are scattered across the land, and it's up to you to gather as many as you can. Are your eyes keen enough to find them all? I love this adventure, and I think it's really fun, but it just takes a long time. And to me, there's not that big of a point besides to get spring items, which there's no new ones. I've already played it once with my friend, Anna number 12, but there's really is no new items or anything, but I... Comment down below if you want to see an adventure gameplay of this. I think it'd be really fun, but I'm not going to finish it. And next we have the Wind Armor. You'll be blown away when you pick up this incredible... Yes, Animal Jam, I'm still playing. This incredible animated armor set. I personally love the Wind Armor. I think it's really, really cool. 
and it's really cool for those role players who like to play like I've been a part of some few element role plays a while back a while ago and it was really fun because no one else picked wind I was the only wind and by the way the back item looked amazing blowing in the wind it is definitely by far one of my favorite armor sets but we also have some new mannequins even more mannequins have come to Jama pick up a horse, hyena, kangaroo, lion, and monkey mannequin and deck them out in the newest fashions. I think mannequins are really cool honestly and really fun to decorate and I'm so glad that they're coming out with more animals because people like to put their main look on display and now it's not just like arctic wolf, wolf, fox, like you can actually pick some original animals. And we have the extravaganza which is back and remember to check out the egg's nests around Jama and adopt a mystery pet that will hatch in three days. Personally, I love the extravaganza. I think it's really fun and really cool. And it's just fun to do. And you don't know what pet you're going to get. And actually, this marks a one full year of the eggs being in Jama. And of course, with spring being in Jama, we have the spring items. Celebrate the change of seasons by springing into Jamal's shops and checking out all the spring accessories and den items. And again, we just have this little shameless promo of Animal Jam of the emote box, which is the Animal Jam Spring 2018 box. I might actually pick this one up. It looks really cool, and comment down below if you want me to do a, um unboxing video of this. And that is all we have, so now let's go check out the Sabertooth Tiger statue. Honestly, Belushi is one of my favorite places in Animal Jam. I think it's just really pretty, and I love to go there and relax. And I'm glad they're adding more and more stuff in there, like the Temple of the Ancients. And let's go over here and check out the statue. Whoa, okay, you can't really see it. Let's change into a flying animal. This is really pretty and really cool. I love how the eyes like sparkle and kind of glow. At first, my friend and I thought it was going to be like a lion crossed by a gazelle because the feet and the tail. But nope, it's a saber tooth tiger, so we were wrong. Honestly, I think this is going to be really cool in Animal Jam because who knows, Animal Jam might start releasing more extinct animals. And the reason they did an extinct animal, if you didn't know, if you come into the Temple of the Ancients and fly around and read these, they have some extinct animal facts. So, it's really cool that they have an extinct animal coming to Jama to celebrate that. And for people to recognize, like, hey, extinct animals are really cool, and we shouldn't let other animals become extinct, because... They are amazing and beautiful, and just because they're animals, that doesn't mean that we should let them all pass away. Quote from Thunderstar89, amazing quote. Yes. No, okay. Alright, and the next thing we need to check out is the Spring Cottage. Alright, and we have in the diamond shop, the Spring Cottage for seven diamonds, and it's really pretty and really cool. I haven't decorated mine yet, so we're just going to explore this one because it's empty as well, just like my den. So that's cool. And so it's pretty basic, the inside of the den. It is pretty big, and like the structure of it is a little stranger than other den. Not strange, but like. There's more wall space for sure, and more empty dense, like empty flooring space. But if you walk out of the den, there's a lot of bridges and stuff, and it's really, really pretty. And then over here, this little patio space. And all this water space, I love to line like a bunch of trees up here. And it's really pretty. I actually decorated Anna Bird's Wolves Den, her spring cottage den for her. So go check out Anna Bird's Wolves Den. 
and say that Thunderstar 89 sent you. Alright, and I checked and the April Fool's Day party won't be on for another hour, so we'll just have to wait that out. But let's check out the spring flower frame. Oops, I moved the recording thing. That was a blooper, don't mind that. But I always love coming to the Masterpiece Party. Yes, I do have the um, painting thing, but I'm just too lazy to go find it in my inventory, to be honest. So, yeah. So let's paint. Let's be artists. Uh... Yep, that's art. Not actually going to create it, but ooh, this is pretty. I might actually have to uh, make a masterpiece for once. Okay, my recording won't stop. That's weird. Oh, there we go. We uh, had another blooper. <laughs> And of course, I cannot check out the Spring Bundle without buying membership, but I'm sure it is amazing and really cool. And yeah. And as I said, we are go I'm going to be doing a video in the future of the Spring Festival of playing it, but probably not going to finish it, but oh well. And now we need to check out the Wind Armor. I don't have the full set, I just have the amulet and the armor and the tail but honestly I don't really like the head items or the gauntlets I don't like the helmets or the gauntlets in, in it but my favorite item in the set is definitely the wind armor like the back armor I think it's just really beautiful and majestic and I mean look it blows in the wind that's it's just cool and while we're here let's go check out the horse mannequin or the other mannequins they actually changed the front animal it was a snow leopard but now it's an eagle fun fact look at that the cheetah looks a little creepy but you could change it around like I'm glad they just didn't stick an arctic wolf on there or something like they actually used a underused well eagles aren't really underused but a less used animal than an arctic wolf I don't want to make the recording too long and I decided to um, go into the lucky, uh, not lucky, April Fool's Day party later, but in a separate video when I'm going to do the Easter egg hunt, but let's just check out the eggs and maybe get one. There's a, actually a trick to know what animal you're going to get, like if it's a flying animal or not. If it's a, um, what's it? What you call it? If it's a, if it's flying off the ground, then it will be like either a falcon or a crow. Fun fact. All right, I think we have our egg. I honestly love adopting eggs. I think they're adorable. And we have that and everything. And let's buy it for three diamonds. And now we have a little egg friend. Yay! And I think we'll just end off the video here with my good pal Mira and my new little egg friend. And I will make a separate video of doing the Easter egg hunt and the um, reviewing the April Fool's Day party. And so I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!